Hey guys, what is going on? It's Don here from Pandemic Playgrounds and we are continuing off with our day two build of our little mini spacecraft. So let's begin. Now, I took the liberty of working on it a little bit. So I'm gonna show you guys this little time lapse that's happening. And I decided to actually um, build up the wall. It's kind of forming its shape in a sense, but yeah, I'm building up the wall and getting the um, rounded edges towards the tailgate. Um, I kind of want to go that with uh, do that for my style. So that's what I'm working on right now. I also got the width of it. It's going to be a little bit wider than what originally as I thought, which is fine because this width is actually perfect. I, uh, I'm able to get um, more vehicles or more things to fit in there. Now, I also decided to build a landing gear system, uh, more so not using the landing gear itself, but just a piston and a hinge to uh, level off the vehicle off the ground. So I got that going, which brings us to now. So here I have a vehicle that fits in here pretty well. I might go a little bit steeper, um, you know, like up to maybe over here. Um, maybe a little bit deeper because I want to put a wall up and a ladder to go up to like a second level. Uh, that's where the cabin would be and uh, the actual cockpit and all that stuff. So, and then down here, I will kind of get rid of this stuff a little bit later. But first, I do want to finish this off with um, building the landing gear system. Now, I'm going to show you guys how well this works now. I also replaced this instead of a rotor. It uses a hinge system now. And over here still maintains the rotor over here just so I have a little bit of a flex. But the hinge system works really well on this gate. And I did take a look at the arrow pointing from one of your uh, comments. And they were both pointing at the same direction. So you could see the two arrows pointed down this way and the two arrows pointed down this way. Um, yeah, even with that, um, I was still having an issue putting on the last block. But I was able to put on a block if it was rounded like this. So that works. Anyway, to close up the door, still close up pretty well. Doesn't seal all the way because I got to finish off the edge a little bit over here. But I'm going to slowly attempt to get this rounded edge working and it should come out good. And that's how it's going to seal up. The ship on the back would look similar to something like that. I don't have, I haven't decided on a color yet, um, but I'll work on that later once I finish off everything. And as far as the landing gear system, um, I don't have a button, which I probably should put one for now. Just to test out certain things. Which I could probably use this one for now. And I'll just uh, pop it on over here. And... That's a hinge and the hinge. I didn't group them, so let me see if I could group them now. So I named them piston rear left and hinge rear left. And I am going to group them as rear left landing. And I think I should be able to just fit this button. Let's see, rear left landing groups over here and I would just do reverse Fuel bam Did that work did I press it the hinge could probably move a little bit faster and I also got one block of clearance which I will fill in later for a leg or something like that but that's how it would look like if it was to go up and down and I'll tuck it in somewhere where I'll I'll actually make a module to client kind of clean it up so let me see that's the landing system okay so it kind of goes up like that and then I'll tuck it in. The hinge do need to be a little bit faster because it takes so long just to get it back to the level. And I did lock the position so it stays only at 90. And it should stop right there. And that's it. Now my plan is to make it a little bit cleaner when I'm closing it up. So this would be here because I will have another block here for it. Actually, you know what? It might need to go here. Can I put a block on here? No. 
yeah i would have to do it something like that and to give it a little bit of a gap i will probably do something like this to kind of like close it off and give it a little bit of a gap six mm. yeah that seems to be pretty cool it client kinds of kind of closes it up really well and i could actually do some sort of like something like that look at that and i could put some thrusters here and probably a ion thruster here to kind of match that up yeah let me see if i close it up how it would look And that goes on a 90 degree, so this, it would be this guy right here. Like that. Yeah, actually kind of hides it pretty well. I don't know how we want to finish off the bottom, but I could finish it off this way. And so yeah, I could put a placeholder for ion thruster maybe inside here oh crap that was a bad idea i'm gonna reload oh man it loaded right when i dropped it <laughs> no energy. all right you know what that wasn't too bad to build anyway so i'll just put it together knowing that that is the problem I could actually put the hinge upwards now. Like so. And because I am using build vision, uh, which works really well, I could just name the block. I like the new build vision, but sometimes it gives me the circle ring versus this one. I don't know why. And I'll call this hinge. Wait, why is it a hinge? I thought I was selecting the piston anyway hinge rear left okay so let me click here instead because i could actually just go to this piston whichever it is i knew it was this one piston rear left landing okay and this one delete because i don't have that anymore and then this one is hinge rear left landing now i could take these two and call this rear left landing okay the only thing i have to fix now is the oh crap rear left landing save as a group this one I actually have to so the angle right now is zero and if I was to reverse it okay the angle goes up this one will lock the lower limit should be zero There you go. And then reverse will be 90. Perfect. So now I got that working and I could throw in ion thruster. Is it called ion thruster? Yeah, it is called ion thruster. I'm gonna drop this into this one right here and small thruster is there like the cool sci-fi version there is right this one i want to use this new sci-fi one for these sides instead of round even though the round looks a lot better i think the round looks good so that's my opinion let's see okay this one looks pretty good like that too and then this way i could also keep this so now I have two extra thrusters, 
go forward and back and it looks pretty good I could also tuck that in just like little um, pods that come outside like that let's see how that looks yeah that looks pretty good I might as well just keep it like that And then this one will still be the landing gear tucked inside. And I don't know what to make of this yet. I could probably do something like this. It's not the prettiest, but it will work. Get rid of this, get rid of this. Tuck that in like how I had it before. Uh, finish off with this edge like no build vision's energy. really weird okay so let's do why isn't this reversing because then is it stuck somewhere oh it's out of battery That's why I didn't want to put those uh, ion thrusters there yet, but just for giggles, I could put a bigger battery on here just to test out stuff. There you go. Okay. Okay, so now it should work. Perfect. Uh, just for giggles, I got to turn off those thrusters just because I don't want it to drain the battery that I already have. Toggle block off. The appearance is there. And then to finish off what I was just doing would be slapping on the block right here. Okay, so this one needs to go reverse so I could put this back up. Piston, landing, reverse. There you go. Looks like a little weird foot, but it works. So let's tuck it in. Nice. Got some landing gears working on. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Now I got to finish up the wall, but I am planning to do some sort of uh, glass. So down the line, this is my standing position over here. So window. Um, do they have small windows? I think they have windows for smaller vehicles. No, this is new bridge window shape oh my god i can't wait to use these things what is this half window round but these are only for large grid oh my god they have rounded windows too when did they get these things in oh this is this is amazing i kind of just want to use rounded windows just for giggles but uh honestly i would do not two by three, but one by one by two. Is there any one by twos? No, not normal. Half window sizes. These are big windows. Oh man, I can't wait to really play with those. Yep, we're gonna have to do this and kind of put some windows. So, if I do this like this here, okay, 
and I put a window here. Does that look good tucked in? It might look good tucked in when you're looking from the outside after like a series of them. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Have some sort of design like this. Yeah, you can kind of see inside if you have uh, lights and stuff like that, but you're definitely able to look outside if you're cruising along. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm only doing one side at a time and not mirroring like you guys suggested yet because I don't know if this is going to be the finished product. So I want to kind of finish off one side and I'll duplicate it on the other side later. But for now, I just want to see how this turns out. Also, I think... I need to fix something here because I do want this rounded edge, you know, but I feel like I'm missing something here to do this part. So what I mean is like, I think I need to do this. But that's too large. So do I have to start? turning up the corner sooner I can't leave that ledge there I could do it like this right and I could start doing this section here to start turning up the edge but I do have to figure out something on this block is there a block that kind of like solves this issue right over here? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's going to take me a while to find the piece that I need, but I'm pretty sure we might have something that might be able to fit into that. Like this piece would fit into that corner in a sense. Uh, gotta finish off that edge. This has a little crease in it. I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Or maybe I might leave that edge open and put something here just in lieu because we don't have something that could fix this. So I could put like a light here or a corner light and kind of fix that issue. But in a distance, it doesn't look too bad. So far, that's the plan. Um, I'm gonna finish off the cargo bay when I get a chance, probably off camera to fill this part in, fix up the roof and see what I come up with because this is looking a little bit too boring. But I do like how I rounded off the edge over here and I also did the bottom. So I kind of rounded it off on the bottom. This way I have a layer to it, almost like armor. So I have two layers of um, that. This looks a l particularly small compared to what I'm doing over here. So I might have to do some designs Critical. or something different to this side because it's kind of looking boring. But if the bigger it gets, it might start looking really good. That's, that's my plan. Like as I build it out, then I could start filling in the rest of the design. Uh, the landing gear is, works. Doesn't look as nice as I wanted to. So I might change that up a little bit later but I don't want to use actual landing gears I want to be able to use something like a landing system so if I need to adjust the height or something because of the tailgate I can so I'm kind of playing around with that idea but so far I'm able to fit a full-size vehicle the trail the tailgate works perfectly fine and yeah I got some more other design features coming in but once I fill it in, I think it's going to start looking a lot better. You know, it always looks worse before it looks better type thing. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you guys enjoyed this, please hit that like button and notification button so you know when the next video is going to be out. Thanks for watching, guys.